Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to the Trucker Rudy Show here on YouTube. We are in Minnesota already. We have been going here for a good while already. But hey, I got 139 miles to go till we'll be in Fargo, North Dakota. Yeah, we are almost in Sock Center, Minnesota. We got about another 10 more miles to go. But hey, this video is sponsored by Trucker Jukebox. Did you guys know that? He's got a YouTube channel as well. So go check him out and see if you like what you see. And give him a good thumbs up and subscribe to me if you like what you see. But other than that, it looks like it's a bit of a cloudy day. It was actually raining this morning when I got up which was at four o'clock this morning. Yeah, that's right. We have really been going for four, I would say four and a quarter hours for sure. We got 422 kilometers in already. So yeah, we've been going for a good while. Already went through Minneapolis and all of that. It was uh, no traffic whatsoever to go through Minneapolis. So that was awesome. So if nothing goes wrong, we should be home today. That's the plan anyways. Our border crossing and everything has been set up. So for those of you guys that are watching for the first time, I live in Canada and I travel all over the United States and Canada. And I'm on my way back home. So we'll be home with the family tonight. We'll just do a reset and go again. So that means I'll be available to go out on uh, Monday morning again. I hope they will get me a good load on Monday. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. So we'll see. We'll see what will end up happening. But whatever. I'm just kind of glad so far they ain't doing anything else. Because they were suggesting that uh, we could possibly be seeing some snow uh, mix of, of ice and snow coming down this morning. So... I mean, I'm out of Iowa, right? That's where they were predicting it as well. And it was just raining this morning when I left, but usually right around the time when the sun comes up is when it's the coldest. So it could have been freezing rain. It's a good possibility. I mean, it's only six degrees Celsius. So once that moisture starts coming down, it could have been cooling off a little quickly and ooh, there's a wild uh, chicken or something oh that was a beautiful that's a beautiful bird I would love to take a picture of that man why do I never run into those on the road I mean uh, somewhere when I'm out, of, uh, out and about uh, taking pictures you know for those of you guys that know I have a nice camera and I love getting out there and taking pictures of, uh, of birds and, and animals so that was a beautiful one. That's one that I would love to get a picture of. But anyhow, let's get on down the road. We'll probably go up to Fargo. And I'm planning on, on making a pit stop in Fargo for sure. And uh, taking my half an hour break, of course. And then uh, I'll probably have me a bite to eat there at the Mexican restaurant. That's kind of what I'm thinking of doing. So we'll see. Hopefully that will work out for me. Here we go guys. We have now made it up to Fargo, North Dakota. Yeah, I guess what we're going to be doing. We're going to go in and get us some Mexican food. I've been, uh, I've been craving Mexican food here for a while. So yeah, let's go in and uh, grab us some lunch. What do you guys think? I'm definitely going to be showing you guys what we're having for lunch. So let's go in and, and it almost looks like the sun is trying to shine through, but it's not successful yet. But anyways, let's go in and have us a good lunch. Here we go, guys. It is time for lunch. So let's take a look on what we're having. We're obviously having Mexican food and I know they got the speaker right above me here, but we're going to show you guys anyways on what we're having. Look at that. Some good vegetables, some beef, chicken. Oh, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to have me good lunch. I don't feel hungry whatsoever anymore, guys. I really don't. Oh, man, I'm telling you, I am so full now. Oh, man, I probably should take me an afternoon nap now. But, hey, I got to get back at it and uh, go home, right? I'm going to try and hold the camera this way. It's a little bit more light from that side, but... 
Anyways, lunch was delicious. I'm telling you guys, that's the reason why I like coming here every time. It is fantastic food service is absolutely amazing over here. They come by so often, or is everything okay, you know, like, that's the service I like, you know. But anyways, let's go home to the family. We've had a full stomach now, and uh, now we should be able to drive all the way home, right? So let's do it. Looks like the North Dakota DOT chicken coop is open today. Almost looks like he's doing some sort of inspection. They're usually, when they're in there, they like to do inspections. Miles. Turn left on Highway 5, US 81. Let's see. Way station ahead. Not sure if he's in there, but he's definitely out there, that's for sure. I know he's doing an inspection on one of the guys. Doesn't sound like he wants to speak with us, so I'm gonna go ahead and close my window. But yeah, we left Fargo. In 800 feet, turn left on nice Highway and full 5, and US 81. As soon as I got back in the truck, Trucker Jukebox called me, and uh, so I was on the phone with him for a while. Yep. So now we're uh, almost at the border already. Yeah, they're definitely taking a good look at him, that's for sure. But that's okay, as long as they leave us alone, right? <laughs> I don't mind. Let's get out of here. Get back on the interstate. I think we're only about 20 miles from getting to the border. I just gotta make sure nobody's coming, right? Nobody is, so we should be a-okay. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised they're open on a weekend, but I think that's what they're doing. They're trying to be open up random hours and random times, you know, like on a weekend. Take the entrance to the left on I-29 North, US 81 North. So this way you won't expect them to be open, right? But they are. They're definitely open. No doubt about that. But anyways, we're not too far from getting to the house. In 800 feet, take the entrance to the left on I-29 North, US 81 North. An hour and hour and a half, I would say, and I'll be home sweet home. That's right. I see another, another two trucks coming in here. I guess they're all having to go to the chicken coop. Oh well. Looks like that road further that way is still closed. But we're good to go, so we'll hammer down and get to the border, get across, get back into Canada, and we'll be good to go. We'll be uh, on the home stretch, right? All right, guys, we have made it home, so let's check it out on what we are up to. The wife is sitting over there playing on the phone, and we're getting supper ready, right? That's the plan anyways. I'm hearing all kinds of birds over there. Are you guys hearing that too? I'm hoping you guys are. Maybe not. I don't know what this is gonna sound like. I just got back home and I got my uh, new mic, right? So we'll see exactly what it's gonna sound like. I'm hoping it's not gonna be clipping. That's one of the biggest issues on these Sonys that uh, the audio, you gotta adjust it manually. Otherwise it seems to be uh, clipping a little bit. It goes over the top, right? So. Hopefully it sounds all right. I know it's got a nice uh, wind muff on it and everything. So with the other one, I was having some issues where it would be crackling and stuff. But anyways, let's enjoy some family time over here and uh, cook nice supper. And uh, we'll show you once it's done. All righty, guys. Let's say hi to our little girl. Right, Jesse? Oh. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> you want to say hi to everybody? Oh, I know you love saying hi to everybody, don't you? Yeah, I know you do. It's almost supper time, right? You had a good time in school today? Huh? Yeah, you did? Oh, that's awesome, right? Let's go ahead and have supper, right? Well, here we are, guys, at the supper table. Let's take a look what we're having for supper. Oh my goodness, are you guys looking at that? 
Take a good look at that, right, Jesse? What do you got to say? Huh? Oh, oh I love the attention, don't you? Oh, I know, right? What about this guy over there? He's trying to dig in again. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, you speak for cool. him. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What about, about me? You had a good supper today. Eh? I'm the cook. You're the cook? Yes. Oh, yeah, I know you did a good job here. Well, I hope so. Oh, yeah. you, didn't, you didn't taste it yet. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Anyways. Let's go ahead and have us a good supper. Yeah. Focus, there we go. And I, I gotta say, I like this new uh, mini tripod setup that I got here. So we're gonna go ahead and have a good supper and uh, I'll talk to you guys in a few.